Will you live to see the Elder Scrolls 7? I know this is kind of a crazy question considering the Elder Scrolls 6 is only currently in pre-production, but it's a legitimate one. Bethesda has a problem. Todd Howard seems to insist on working on only one game at a time, refusing to make more teams. Think about it. Nintendo has a Mario team, Zelda team, etc. That's why you get content from those franchises that seems almost yearly, and a brand new game every four to five years. Pretty much every company does this. You think the same team at Blizzard works on both Diablo and WoW? No. Some may defend the weight by pointing towards, say, Grand Theft Auto. As it has been roughly nine years since Grand Theft Auto V's release, there is a key difference, however. The only game they released in that time has been Red Dead Redemption 2. They just recently entered pre-production and let us know GTA 6 is in fact a thing. They have not had to release a new game, nor have they had any will to, with how successful the online mode has been. In other words, with Rockstar, it's not an issue of too many games but rather a deliberate decision on their part. With Bethesda, on the other hand, we've not had a new Elder Scrolls game since Skyrim, which came out in 2011. 11 years ago. Because they've been too busy with Fallout 4 and Starfield. This may have contributed to Fallout 76's terrible quality as well, as it is rumored it was rushed, and likely due to the lack of games from the studio. If Bethesda and Todd Howard choose to stay on this course and not correct it, we may be looking at a situation for many people who are watching this very video where the next Elder Scrolls may very well be their last Elder Scrolls. They may never get to see Starfield 2. Let's do some quick math. Your average AAA game studio takes about five years to complete a game, assuming no delays. So in this hypothetical, we'll be talking about the best case scenario. Let us say you're 45 years old. Not really an old man by any means, middle-aged. Starfield is being released next year, so you'll be about 46 when Elder Scrolls 6 begins full production. Five more years and you'll be 51 years old when it comes out. Five years after that and you'll get Fallout 5. You'll be 56 years old. Five more years after that, you're looking at 61 years old, and depending on your health, some men don't make it past their 60s. You are 45 right now, but are looking at age 61 at best case scenario when you see Starfield 2. The Elder Scrolls 7, the title of this video. My companions. So be it. You shall be the Fellowship of the Ring. You're looking at being 66 years old. Now, there will inevitably be delays and such along the way. So, you're probably more realistically looking at being around 70 years old. My back! My back! Seventy, A baby born today would be in their 20s. Is this really acceptable? The answer, of course, would be to create multiple teams. If Todd Howard truly thinks he must have his hands in all of these franchises, then he should act as an executive head and just oversee all these projects, but have each have their own day-to-day -day specific project head. They need to be working on at least two of these games at a time, if not all three. Bringing up Nintendo again, they went through something similar back in the day. Miyamoto developed Mario and Zelda himself all the way up to Ocarina of Time. For Majora's Mask, he released the reins allowing Aonuma to take over. He still oversaw these games but in a more supervisor role. Aonuma was the one actually leading the project. And of course, game making is even more time consuming and demanding now than it was during the N64 era. There is absolutely no excuse for Todd or Bethesda. 
They now have the funding and the backing of Microsoft and Xbox. There is absolutely no reason The Elder Scrolls VI should be your last adventure on Nern. If you like this video, check this one out. I think you'll enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching.